Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So Cardi B has spoken out against Offset on social media once again on Tuesday, October 22nd, in a series of since-deleted posts, Cardi B wrote about negative feelings toward her former husband, admitting her day would brighten up if he got hit by a truck in the middle of the street. Cardi tweeted, Bro, I wish the worst on this man. I never hated somebody so much and these bees be so thirsty to have him, she said. Please, take this man off my hands. This garbage bag is too heavy. Ooh. A fan then replied to her post, He's the father of your children. Stop. In response, Cardi wrote, Yeah, he is. That's why I don't wish him death. But I truly hate this dirty, ASS, narcissistic piece of ish. And his family and his friends never check him. That's why he always going to be a piece of ish of a person. When another user replied to her initial post and said, Yep, you still love him. Cardi B clapped back yet again, writing, No, I don't. I want him to get hit by a effing truck. He really is just a dark cloud on any body life he enters. Oh, wow. A fan tweeted, You have to set some boundaries, Cardi. When you're dealing with a narcissist, it's a must. It's time for a fresh start. Y'all should not still be under the same roof. Cardi replied, he don't live with me at all. Another fan tweeted, Offset's really a psychotic freak if he calls CPS on his own kids just to make Cardi vulnerable and hoping she seek comfort in him. Cardi replied, that's not what happened. That got nothing to do with him. Another person replied, wait, I know Offset ain't called them people on her. Wait, B, I'm up now, wait. In response, Cardi wrote, he's a loser, but he didn't do that. It was a prank call. He had to fly out and I couldn't be there because I'm hospitalized. So this was yesterday, last night, but the day before yesterday, Monday, Cardi took to Instagram Live to detail a print call she received that sent CPS to her home at 11 p.m. to check on her and Offset's children. She revealed she hired private investigators and an attorney to find the pranksters who sent child protective services and pizzas to her home. Cardi B said she won't wait for CPS to identify the anonymous tipster. I'm going to find out myself, she warned. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm not even pressing charges on you. Cardi said that if the prankster is a boy, her former husband, Offset, is going to beat the F out of him. She said if the prankster is a woman... She and her sister, Hennessy, will handle business themselves. Cardi B didn't seem concerned that she's threatening physical violence in a live stream video that is public. That's the problem. She is so impulsive. She just can't shut the hell up. She put her business out there. And when people talk about it, she's like, oh, mind your business, mind your business. Ah, yeah, huh. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, check out the clip, and I'll be back. To do a little fucking prank call. What is the CPS, Child Protective Services? For Child Protective Services to come to my fucking house, not my house, my gated mansion at 11 p.m. while my children are sleeping because there's an anonymous call that there's been going on that, that my kids have been getting abused and beaten. Are you fucking dumb? Are you fucking dumb? This is when the pranks start getting too far. When you motherfucking, oh, when you fucking assholes think the shit is funny. And it's not funny. It's not funny. First of all, 
me, I'm the only color person and I'm the only person that is Latin, that is black people in my house. Uh, that it's in the whole neighborhood, I mean. I'm sorry, I'm fucked up. We are the only color people in my neighborhood completely. And for motherfuckers to pop up in my house with cops and child protective services because you motherfuckers want to do an anonymous call involving my children? I, I promise you this. I promise you this. I promise you this. I'm going to sue Child Protective Services for fucking coming to my house at whatever the fuck time it comes. And I'm also going to sue the per the person that did this call. And I'm and as soon as I wake up in the morning, I'm calling Drew Finley because I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to hire the best private investigator in the whole fucking country because y'all take joking and y'all take shit a little too far. Don't you ever in your fucking life play with my fucking kids. Don't you ever in your fucking life play with my motherhood or with my ex-husband fatherhood. We don't play that shit. My kids live great. My kids have never been touched. Never gotten hit. No matter how annoying they are, I never hit my kids. Every weekend, my kids go to fly zone. Y'all want a prank call? Y'all want to do funny shit? Y'all want to give anonymous tips and involve my kids in it? Now you're going to you're gonna see you're gonna see the evil side of me because I'm not letting that shit fucking go. Y'all going to die. I'm going to fucking, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. I'm not calling the cops on you. As soon as I know and retract that phone call, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. If you're a fucking man, my baby father is going to beat the shit out of you because you thought it was okay to mess with our fucking kids. Stop fucking playing. To God, I'm going to teach motherfuckers a lesson. First, y'all was sending pizzas to my house. Now y'all sending child protective services. And I promise you, I'm going to call Drew Finling in the morning. I'm going to call a private investigator. I'm going I'm to hire a private investigator, and I'm going to get my aunt's husband, which is a private investigator, to work on who is it. Because if Child Protective Service don't give me this anonymous person, I'm going to find out myself. And you, know you want to know what I'm going to do? I'm not even pressing charges on you. If you're a boy, my baby father is going to beat you the fuck up. If you a woman, me and Hennessy are going to beat you the fuck up because you're playing with my motherfucking kids. Stop playing with my motherfucking kids. Not everything is a fucking joke. Not everything is a fucking prank. That's why I got two securities in my house. One in the front, one in the back. With fucking loaded up rifles. Just because I know y'all motherfuckers like to... So yeah, Cardi B is talking all that mess while she's in the hospital. She's canceling gigs due to emergency, medical issues, health issues. It seems like Cardi B is being hospitalized a lot. I don't know. If I were her, I would be careful. Because, you know, in this industry, you know, they like to sacrifice people. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not saying anything because I know nothing. I know nothing, okay? But I'm just saying she needs to be careful because in that industry, they will sacrifice you so fast. They don't care. So you just never know. And doesn't it seem like he just had this dark energy about him? Like he would not care one bit to sacrifice someone. And it's, it's not like he really cared for Cardi B. He never truly cared for her. It was a business arrangement, a business marriage. So it's nothing for him to be like, you know what? Let's get rid of this B. She talks too much. She's ratchet. She's loud. She's ghetto. She's uncouth. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. I just wouldn't put it past him. I wouldn't put it past anyone in that demonic industry. He just seems very unhappy. He never looks happy with Cardi B. So he needs to live his truth because 
there were rumors years ago that he swings both ways. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying what I heard with the streets were saying. Okay? And you know what? I wouldn't be shocked by that. Because he just seems so unhappy. He just seems... All that cheating could be because he's really, really covering up something else. You know? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is... This guy is miserable. He has this dark energy. Like when I see him, he's just, he just seems unhappy, like dark and just moody. So yeah, so Cardi B needs to be careful because please, the guy didn't love you. He doesn't love you. So hey, I mean, think about it. Someone who don't love you, who's like that, and... You know, if they sacrifice you, they get all the fame, right? Because now they know, well, they're known as Mr. Cardi B. Now you pass away. Not only he's going to get the money because he has the kids with you. So, and then all the sympathy, you know, then he could, you know, put a song out and dedicate a song to Cardi B. And that might just like blow up to number one. Who knows? I'm telling you, we're not dealing with normal people, okay? (laughs) So, these people will do anything for fame, anything for riches, anything to keep the fame and keep the money. Because I believe two months ago, right after Cardi B announced her, um, her divorce, there was a report saying this guy owed tax lien for like a million something or two million dollars so i don't know um but yeah so last week friday he was spotted at a toronto club with a woman so offset just don't give a damn okay he'd been moved on he'd been checked out he never wanted that marriage um but he benefited from it um so yeah so yeah this is a mess but you guys what are your thoughts leave it in the comments don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe i appreciate the support and i will see you on the next one peace